here we are in Tanzania near Arusha and I've been quite struck by the amount of soil degradation, soil erosion in a lot of the farming land um, here. Uh, as you can see we've got uh, some really black cracking clays here which are self mulching but they're very susceptible to water erosion and so what happens when these soils get wet they slake, they fall apart and then it leads to this gully erosion as you can see here. Uh, and that turns into big, huge gullies that uh, basically make this land very um, uh, unfarmable. So, I want to do a bit of a demonstration just to show the problem of these soils. So if we look down here, I'm growing some of this topsoil and uh, just here, and you watch how this, uh, just a clot of that topsoil, see how it falls apart just quickly when I put that in some water. See how it just falls apart and explodes. Um, and uh, that's the problem when, when these rains happen in this soil. Um, it actually um, really falls apart quickly. Um, if you look at, uh, I'm going to put a, uh, the next layer of soil down. So this is just about 20, 30 centimetres down and it's, it's even more erodible. If I just put that there. And see how that's just falling apart and it's basically the hydrogen ions of the water pushing the soil apart and that's what makes it so erodible down a bit further in the profile is this red clay and some of that is even worse see how quickly that's falling apart and so when we start to get gullies we start to get rills we start to get the water flowing and hitting that below then that really um, makes the, 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 these um, gullies go quicker, deeper. And you can see the cloudiness on that. That also shows there's a bit of um, sodicity in the, in the soil, which means that uh, it also disperses very quickly, not just slaking. And one more from down below. And look at that. So it's no wonder when these soils start to have water running through them, how they quickly gully and fall apart. But just over on this side, the farm, if you could just look over there, I've taken some soil, same topsoil, same um, cracking clay uh, from there where there's been a lot of um, uh, soil cover, soil growth, um, um, there's a lot of um, grasses that have bo both helped, the, the roots of the grass help hold the soil together and just look down here, I'll put this clod in here and see what happens, same soil and as you can see doesn't fall apart and that's the amazing thing is when you keep soil cover when you have a turnover of organic matter not only do the roots um, hold that soil together but also the soil microbial activity acts like glues and it holds the bits of soil together and stops it just falling apart and eroding that's why we need to do conservation farming why we need to keep all the soil cover why we need to minimum till with our farming um, so that we can get stable soils like that uh, rather than um, topsoils that are exploding like this and then taking away all the subsoils and causing gullying as you can see if you pan down here starts like this and then moves down to huge gullies and un unfarmable land which is a big problem.